Recently, Microsoft introduced Xbox Music. Managing music has become hard. To solve this problem, Microsoft is introducing Xbox Music. Xbox Music is a subscription-based music service, taking on already established players like RDO and Spotify. And if you're not using subscription music yet, you probably will be soon. Here's what you need to know. A subscription-based service features millions of songs that you can play with just one click. If you're willing to listen to ads, you can listen to Spotify for free. For five bucks, you get unlimited ad-free music streaming, the same as RDO. And for $10, you can play the songs on your mobile device offline. Even with the most expensive plans, if you were already buying one album a month, you're probably saving money. It's kind of like Netflix. You pay a monthly fee, you get access to a library of content. Except, unlike Netflix, the selection is pretty extensive. Millions of songs, pretty much anything I could think of. Newer CDs like Mumford & Sons, late 90s hip-hop, classic artists, karaoke versions of Rolling in the Deep. They have it all! Their selection is so deep. The Microsoft service works great if you use Windows everything. If not, I'd skip it for now and focus on RDO and Spotify. Both offer the ability to share playlists with friends, to discover new music. Mostly it comes down to which interface you'd rather use. It's worth noting you have to download an app for Spotify to play it on your computer. RDO works through a web browser, which is helpful if you want to listen to music at work and you aren't allowed to install programs. We are never, ever, ever getting back. Streaming subscription services are being looked to as the future of the music industry. You can listen to what you want, when you want, and it's easier than stealing. Will you be subscribing? Let us know at thelistshow.tv.